Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. So today we are going to see what is the Tosca commander. We'll see a high level overview of all the different modules which are present in the Tosca commander and we'll see how you can run an example test case or test project. We'll also see how you can um, start automating your web application using the Tosca commander. So we'll do a sample test case, right? Now uh, we have already seen how we can set up Tosca commander uh, with its license in our last video. So if not watched it, uh, do watch it over. Now, once you launch your Tosca commander, this is the home page which will be visible to you. There you will have some default projects, right? So the first steps project, it is provided by default to you by Tosca, right? So it contains some sample test cases uh, which you can run and get acquainted with the Tosca commander. So um, right now we'll just open this uh, project which is already provided by the Tosca commander. So click on first steps and it will start building your or opening your project, right? Now this is the Tosca commander uh, view. You can see the tool or the application through which you can automate your test cases, right? So there are different uh, sections to this particular application or tool, right? And um, all of these different blocks which you see here are all the different parts of this Tosca commander, right? So these are the places where you will find all the different um, information which you require in order to automate your application, right? So uh, it completely supports the whole testing life cycle, right? So the first uh, thing which you will notice is the test cases section, okay? And this will contain all your test cases, okay? So uh, these test cases are already provided uh, to us by the Tosca, right, by default. And as you can see, they have provided some manual tests, uh, some automated tests, uh, data-driven tests, and some helpers, right? And they have also given us this run me, okay? So this is the sample test case which you can run in this particular test cases section, okay? Now there are other sections like modules, uh, requirements, test case design, execution, issues, right? And there is also a tutorial, but that's not so important one, okay? Now um, we will see uh, what are modules, uh, what are requirements, test case design, and execution, right? Uh, throughout this course, whenever we're trying to build a complete project, okay? For now, let's concentrate on this test cases section, okay? So as you can see, uh, there are different folders which you can create for your test cases. So that could be a parent folder. Under that, uh, that could be uh, child folders. And under each folder, you will have a test case, right? Like this. And then that test case will have different steps, okay? So uh, you can add your own folder. You can see create folder. There is create folder option. You can create a folder structure. Uh, you can create a virtual folder. We'll talk about it um, later. Uh, you can create a test case, right? So this um, circle symbol is a test case symbol, okay? So this means this uh, is contains a test case, okay? Uh, then there is a business test case. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Uh, you can create a test step library, right? So there are different options. Uh, you can also create recovery scenario collection and test configuration parameters. So there are lots of things uh, in Tosca and we'll learn um, one by one slowly, okay? So let's look at our test case, okay? So these are the different steps. Uh, these are basically, uh, you can call the steps which control the execution of your application flow, okay, for this particular test case. So as you can see, uh, there are different steps like open sample app, maximize the browser, main menu, uh, vehicle data, insurance data, product data, price option, and then send code. So this is a complete flow for your test case in your application, okay? And what Tosca does, it, it captures all the technical information, which are nothing but the objects on the page, which are required to automate each and every flow of your particular application, right? And once it captures, it provides it in this particular test steps where you can uh, control what you want to enter in 
any or any field to build your application or test case flow okay so uh, when you are viewing this particular test case uh, you can do you can expand all the steps you can collapse all the steps right so as there are different steps i can expand them and as you can see there are different objects which are present here right and each object or um, each particular information right it contains some data and it contains some properties okay so as you can see this automobile object it must be a uh, input uh, input field right and um, either you can uh, enter some information or you can click on it right it could be a link okay and that could be identified by properties which is shown on the right hand side right so using this properties it can identify this particular object on the page and then you can perform some action on this particular object by passing some value here okay so that is how you build your test case or test steps right similarly you will see there are uh, different fields where there are different values for those fields right so this is this is all uh, the data which you require for this particular test case with all the fields right which are available here and uh, that is how you control the flow of your execution so depending on how your test case is built you will uh, enter those values or uh, perform the operation on those fields required in this particular test case right now the initial two steps you can see uh, are just opening the sample application and maximizing the browser right and uh, there you are passing the url okay similarly uh, there would be also a test configuration right so these are the test case details and the next step is test configuration now it is also important um, because you can see here uh, this particular test case has got a test configuration called browser right and that browser is internet explorer okay so that's the value you need to set in order to run this test case on a particular browser now we can also change the test configuration parameter value in this case it is browser so you can put any value for this right now the default is Internet Explorer that's where the test case was designed right so uh, probably you will try to run it in the same browser but if you want to run your test case on other browsers like Chrome Edge Firefox you can select those values okay similarly you can add any number of test configuration parameters by just right clicking on the test case and then clicking on this purple square button which is for adding a different test configuration parameter for your test case okay so this is how you can add different test configuration parameters okay uh, let's reset to default value and now we have seen what uh, are the details of our test cases what are test configuration parameters and now we'll look at the control flow diagram right? so this is a simple uh, representational view of your test case right so the complete flow of the test case with all the different steps which are involved here okay now that we have a good view of um, how we can design our test case um, what values we can pass what is the test configuration parameter right um, let's see how we can run our test case so for that you can go to the test case and then right click there's an option run in scratchbook that option is also available on the top sidebar right under test cases you can see a green play button which is run in scratchbook so if you go ahead and select your test case and then run your test case using the run in scratchbook it will start running your test case on the application so as you can see it has performed all the different actions on the particular application right now once it is finished you can go back here and you can see this is the scratchbook right so uh, in scratchbook you can do some dry run testing of your test case okay so if you want to check whether your test case is working fine or not or you have any issues then you can use this run in scratchbook the only thing to remember is it's not permanently stored right so these results are not stored anywhere it is only on a temporary basis right so for uh, storing results and all you need to run it from a different place okay so as you can see uh, it, it will display all the different steps it has performed right which has passed and which has failed inside this scratch book okay and that start time and duration also if you are logging any information or message it will show it in the log info right 
so this is your scratch book now as i said uh, this is only it only stores temporary results right if you want to store your results uh, permanently or on a permanent basis you need to execute your test from the execution folder okay so there you need to create an execution list and then you need to create your uh, execution folder and then uh, bring your test cases here and start execution okay so that's how you can run an existing test case from your project in tosca right so this particular test case was provided by tosca but in our next session we'll be looking at how we can design our own test case okay how we can automate a particular application using tosca and that is when i'm going to introduce you to some of the other folders like modules right how do you um, store all the technical information in the modules folder and then use it in your test cases right we'll also try to see how we can execute our particular uh, test case from the execution folder right so uh, slowly we'll also learn about requirements uh, and test case design and how it can be linked to different test cases and modules right